New York CDL General Knowledge Test. Question 1. You must park on the side of a level, straight, two-lane road. Where should you place the reflective triangle? One within 10 feet of the rear of the vehicle, one about 100 feet to the rear, and one about 200 feet to the rear. One about 50 feet to the rear of the vehicle, one about 100 feet to the rear, and one about 100 feet to the front of the vehicle. One within 10 feet of the rear of the vehicle, one about 100 feet to the rear, and one about 100 feet to the front of the vehicle. Answer One within 10 feet of the rear of the vehicle, one about 100 feet to the rear, and one about 100 feet to the front of the vehicle. Question 2. Which of these statements about tires and hot weather driving is true? If a tire is too hot to touch, you should drive on it to cool it off. The air pressure of a tire decreases as the temperature of the tire increases. You should inspect your tires every 2 hours or every 100 miles when driving in very hot weather. Answer. You should inspect your tires every 2 hours or every 100 miles when driving in very hot weather. Question 3. Why should you be in the proper gear before starting down a hill? Because you need to be in the same gear at the bottom of the hill. Because the clutch is made to be used on even surfaces. You will not be able to shift into a lower gear once you are going down a hill. Answer You will not be able to shift into a lower gear once you are going down a hill. Question 4. It takes the body about hours to get rid of the alcohol in 4 drinks. 6 4 2 Answer 4 Question 5. Name some important steering system parts. Leaf spring, vehicle frame, and torque rod. Tie rod, spindle, and pitman arm. Main spring, axle, and spring shackle. Answer Tie rod, spindle, and pitman arm. Question 6. To prevent a load from shifting, there should be at least one tie down for every feet of cargo. 15. 10 7 Answer 10 Question 7 Why should you back towards the driver's side? So you can see better. Both answers are correct. Backing toward the right side is dangerous. Answer Both answers are correct. Question 8. The total weight of the powered unit, the trailer, and the cargo is called Gross axle weight Gross combination weight Gross vehicle weight Answer Gross combination weight. Question 9. Which of these statements about drinking alcohol is true? Coffee and fresh air will help a drinker sober up. 
not everyone who drinks is affected by alcohol. A few beers have the same effect on driving as a few shots of whiskey or a few glasses of wine. Answer A few beers have the same effect on driving as a few shots of whiskey or a few glasses of wine. Question 10. The distance your vehicle travels from the time your eyes see a hazard until your brain recognizes it is called distance. Perception Reaction Breaking Answer Perception Question 11. How does bleeding tar affect the road surface and driving conditions? It does not affect the road surface or driving conditions. Tar in the road pavement rises to the road surface in very hot weather causing the roads to become very slippery. It is very sticky slowing down your vehicle. Answer Tar in the road pavement rises to the road surface in very hot weather causing the roads to become very slippery. Question 12. Which of these will help keep an engine cool in hot weather? Making sure the engine has the right amount of oil. Properly adjusted V-belts. Both of these answers are correct. Answer Both of these answers are correct. Question 13. Which of these best describes how you should use the brake pedal on a steep downhill grade? Snubbing With stronger pressure as the vehicle goes downhill. Repeated strong pressure, then release. Answer Snubbing Question 14. How do you correct rear wheel acceleration skid? Counter steer the steering wheel. Stop accelerating. Apply more power to the wheels. Answer Stop accelerating. Question 15. Which of these is good thing to remember about drinking alcohol? Alcohol first affects judgment and self-control. Small quantities of alcohol can improve reaction time. The driver can control how quickly the body rids itself of alcohol. Answer Alcohol first affects judgment and self-control. Question 16. As part of your pre-trip inspection you must. Both of these are correct. Check for overloads. Check for poorly balanced weight. Answer. Both of these are correct. Question 17. A vehicle is loaded with most of the weight on the steering axle. What may result? Too little traction on the steering axle. Better handling. Hard steering and possible damage to the tires. Answer. Hard steering and possible damage to the tires. Question 18. Which of these is a good driving rule for work zones? Turn on new flashers, hazard lights and drive slowly. Use your brake lights to warn drivers behind you. Both of these answers are correct. 
answer. Both of these answers are correct. Question 19. Which of these is a good rule to follow when using a fire extinguisher? Stay downwind of the fire. Keep as close to the fire as possible. Aim at the base of the fire. Answer. Aim at the base of the fire. Question 20. Which of these is a danger of crossing railroad tracks on dirt roads? Your tires could sink into the dirt and not cross the tracks. The ground underneath the tracks may not be stable. You could get hung up halfway across the tracks. Answer You could get hung up halfway across the tracks. Question 21 which of the following best describes how sleep debt can be paid off? It can only be paid off by sleeping. It will go away by itself over a period of time. Overcome it with willpower and non-sleep aids. Answer It can only be paid off by sleeping. Question 22. While driving, you should use your mirrors to check. Where the rear of your vehicle is while you make turns. If your running lights are working properly. Your blind spots only. Answer. Where the rear of your vehicle is while you make turns. Question 23. The new back, blood alcohol concentration, for commercial drivers to be considered intoxicated when driving a commercial vehicle is 0 0.06 0 0.04 0 0.02 0 .04. Answer 0 0.04 Question 24. Retarders Cause extra brake wear Allow you to disconnect the steering axle brakes Can cause the drive wheels to skid when they have poor traction Answer Can cause the drive wheels to skid when they have poor traction Question 25. To prevent skidding, you should Brake hard at all stops. Adjust to conditions while driving. Turn the wheel sharply for all turns. Answer Adjust to conditions while driving. Question 26. What is a pull-up? Pulling forward while backing a trailer to reposition it. When pulling off the shoulder you pull up until the trailer is straight. A maneuver performed by a tow truck to pick up an overturned truck. Answer Pulling forward while backing a trailer to reposition it. Question 27. What is the most important reason for doing a vehicle inspection? Federal and state regulations require you to inspect your vehicle. Both answers are correct. A vehicle defect found during inspection can save you problems later. Answer Both answers are correct. Question 28. 
Which of these is a good thing to do when driving at night? Keep your instrument lights bright. Drive slowly enough to stop within the range of your headlights. Look directly at oncoming headlights only briefly. Answer Drive slowly enough to stop within the range of your headlights. Question 29. What are two ways to know when to shift? Use engine speed, RPM, and use road speed, miles per hour. Use your watch and engine sounds. Use engine speed, RPM, and road signs. Answer Use engine speed, RPM, and use road speed, miles per hour. Question 30. Which of the following does not provide extra gears on some trucks? Automatic transmissions. Auxiliary transmissions. Multi-speed rear axles. Answer. Automatic transmissions. Question 31. Dry bulk tanks require special care because The load can shift. Both of these are true. They have a high center of gravity. Answer Both of these are true. Question 32. Which of these statements about overhead clearance is true? You should assume posted clearance signs are correct. The weight of a vehicle changes its height. If the road surface causes your vehicle to tilt toward objects at the edge of the road, you should drive close to the shoulder. Answer the weight of a vehicle changes its height. Question 33. Which of these is a proper use of vehicle lights and flashers? Flashing your brake lights to warn someone behind you that you are going to stop on the road. Flashing your brake lights to warn someone behind you of a hazard that will require slowing down. All of these are correct. Answer All of these are correct. Question 34. Why are placards used? To communicate the risk. It is the law. So hazardous materials are not mixed with food. Answer To communicate the risk. Question 35. You must park on the side of a level, straight, two-lane road. Where should you place the reflective triangle? One about 50 feet to the rear of the vehicle, one about 100 feet to the rear, and one about 100 feet to the front of the vehicle. One within 10 feet of the rear of the vehicle, one about 100 feet to the rear, and one about 200 feet to the rear. One within 10 feet of the rear of the vehicle, one about 100 feet to the rear, and one about 100 feet to the front of the vehicle. Answer One within 10 feet of the rear of the vehicle, one about 100 feet to the rear, and one about 100 feet to the front of the vehicle. Question 36. Over length, over width, and, or overweight loads require? Driving limited to certain times. Both answers are correct. Flashing lights. 
Answer. Both answers are correct. Question 37. How far can the Board of Education make a student walk to their assigned pick-up location? One half mile. 150 yards. 250 yards. Answer. One half mile. Question 38. Which of these statements is true about backing heavy vehicles? Helpers should be out of sight and use only spoken signals to communicate with the driver. You should avoid backing whenever you can. It's safer to back toward the right side of the vehicle. Answer You should avoid backing whenever you can. Question 39. Name some important steering system parts. Tie rod, spindle, and pitman arm. Main spring, axle, and spring shackle. Leaf spring, vehicle frame, and torque rod. Answer. Tie rod, spindle, and pitman arm. Question 40. What items should be checked for safety on the steering column? Steering arms should not have mismatched, bent or cracked lug nuts. Up to one-fourth of the steering parts may be broken. Steering arms should not have missing nut, bolts or cotter keys. Answer. Steering arms should not have missing nut, bolts or cotter keys. Question 41. The road you are driving on becomes very slippery due to glare ice. Which of these is a good thing to do in such a situation? Apply the brakes often to keep the linings dry. Downshift to stop. Stop driving as soon as you can safely do so. Answer Stop driving as soon as you can safely do so. Question 42 During what time in your pre trip inspection of a school bus do you check the back emergency door? To ensure it is closed. During step 4. Lights first half, the inside walk through. Only during the inside walk through. Only during the operation inspection of the pre trip. Answer During step 4, lights first half, the inside walk through. Question 43. Which of these things is a good thing to do when steering to avoid a crash? Do not turn any more than needed to clear what is in your way. Apply the brakes while turning. Steer with one hand so that you can turn the wheel more quickly. Answer Do not turn any more than needed to clear what is in your way. Question 44. Implied consent means when you sign the driver's license application form, you Give your consent for your vehicle to be inspected for alcohol. Understand that you may drink alcohol now before driving. Give your consent to be tested for alcohol in your blood. Answer Give your consent to be tested for alcohol in your blood. Question 45. Which of these describes how you should use the brake pedal on a steep downhill grade? 
release the brake when you are 5 miles per hour below your safe speed, then let your speed come back up to your safe speed and repeat braking again, bring your speed down 5 miles per hour below your safe speed. With stronger pressure as the vehicle goes downhill. Light steady pressure. Answer. Release the brake when you are 5 miles per hour below your safe speed, then let your speed come back up to your safe speed and repeat braking again, bring your speed down 5 miles per hour below your safe speed. Question 46. You do not have a hazardous materials endorsement on your commercial driver's license. You can drive a vehicle hauling hazardous materials when The cargo will be transported less than 100 miles. The vehicle does not require placards. A person who has the hazardous materials endorsement rides with you. Answer The vehicle does not require placards. Question 47. Your truck has a dual air system and one of the system loses its pressure. What will happen? Brake drums will not be fully pressurized. Either the front or back brake will not be fully operational. The manual slack adjusters of the S-CAM brakes will not be set properly. Answer. Either the front or back brake will not be fully operational. Question 48. Controlled braking Is used to keep a vehicle in a straight line when braking. Can be used while you are turning sharply. Involves locking the wheels for short periods of time. Answer Is used to keep a vehicle in a straight line when braking. Question 49 You should avoid driving through deep puddles or flowing water but if you cannot, which of these steps can help keep your brakes working? Turning on your brake heaters Gently putting on the brakes while driving through the water Pressing both the brake pedal and the accelerator firmly after coming out of the water. Answer Gently putting on the brakes while driving through the water. Question 50. How can you avoid the effects that wet brakes can cause? Slow down and place the transmission in low gear. Both of these answers are correct. Gently put on the brakes and increase engine RPM, cross the water while keeping light pressure on the brakes. Answer Both of these answers are correct. Question 51. What must you check before transporting a sealed load? That the placard numbers match the seal numbers. That the seal is authentic. That the load is properly secured. Answer That the load is properly secured. Question 52. What does communicating mean in safe driving? Letting other drivers know you're there to help prevent crashes. Using hand signals. Driving brightly colored vehicles. Answer. Letting other drivers know you're there to help prevent crashes. Question 53. What should you do if you see a hazard in the roadway? 
stop quickly and pull to the side of the road. Swerve around it and get back into your lane. Use your four-way flashers or brake lights to warn others. Answer Use your four-way flashers or brake lights to warn others. Question 54. When inspecting mirrors and windshields for cracks, dirt, and illegal stickers, or other obstructions to your vision, you should not worry about any of it. Look in the mirror, to see if you look good. Clean and adjust as necessary. Answer Clean and adjust as necessary. Question 55. Bridge formula is permit. Less maximum axle weight for axles that are close together. The same maximum axle weight for any axle spacing. Less maximum axle weight for axles that are far apart. Answer Less maximum axle weight for axles that are close together. Question 56. Which of these statements is true about medicines used to treat the common cold? It should only be used when driving during the daytime. It can be used while driving as long as you only take half the regular dose. It often makes you sleepy thus should not be used while driving. Answer It often makes you sleepy thus should not be used while driving. Question 57 with the back of, most people lose consciousness, and some die. 0 0.16 0 0.4 0 0.1 Answer 0 0.4 Question 58 Underloaded front axles can cause the following. Both of these are true. Too much play in the steering wheel. Poor traction and damage to the tires. Answer. Both of these are true. Question 59. Which of these statements about cargo loading is true? State laws dictate legal weight limits. The legal maximum weight allowed by a state can be considered safe for all driving conditions. If the shipper loads the cargo, the driver is not responsible for overloading. Answer State laws dictate legal weight limits. Question 60. When should you wear seat belts? Only in states where law requires it. Whenever you are hauling hazardous materials. Anytime you are in a moving vehicle. Answer. Any time you are in a moving vehicle. Question 61. If you cannot see well with your headlights when driving in an area with few streetlights on a clear night, you should Find another route that is better lit. Turn your interior lights on. Use your high beams when legal and keep your interior light off. Answer. Use your high beams when legal and keep your interior light off. Question 62. While driving, 
Ice builds up on your wipers and they no longer clean the windshield. You should keep driving and turn your defroster on. Drive slower until you can see again. Stop safely and fix the problem. Keep driving and spray the windshield with washer fluid. Answer Stop safely and fix the problem. Question 63 You are driving a heavy vehicle and must exit a highway using an off ramp that curves downhill. You should Wait until you are in the curve before downshifting. Slow down to a safe speed before taking the curve. Slow down to the posted speed limit for the off ramp. Answer Slow down to a safe speed before taking the curve. Question 64 You do not have a hazardous materials endorsement on your commercial driver's license. You can drive a vehicle hauling hazardous materials when the cargo will be transported less than 100 miles. A person who has the hazardous materials endorsement rides with you. The vehicle does not require placards. Answer The vehicle does not require placards. Question 65. Stab braking Involves releasing the brakes only after the wheels lock up. Involves steady pressure on the brake pedal without locking the wheels. Should never be used. Answer Involves releasing the brakes only after the wheels lock up. Question 66. You are checking your wheels and rims for a pre-trip inspection. Which of these statements is true? A vehicle can be safely driven with one missing lug nut on a wheel. Cracked wheels or rims can be used if they have been welded. Rust around lug nuts may mean that they are loose. Answer. Rust around lug nuts may mean that they are loose. Question 67. Which of these is the most important thing to remember about emergency braking? Never do it without downshifting first. If the wheels are skidding, you cannot control the vehicle. Disconnecting the steering axle brakes will help keep your vehicle in a straight line during emergency braking. Answer If the wheels are skidding, you cannot control the vehicle. Question 68 Which of the following does not provide extra gears on some trucks? Auxiliary transmissions Multi-speed rear axles Automatic transmissions Answer Automatic transmissions Question 69 What are some advantages of going right instead of left around an obstacle? Someone may be passing to the left. You can avoid a head-on collision. Both answers are correct. Answer Both answers are correct. Question 70. To avoid a crash, you had to drive on to the right shoulder. You are now driving at 40 miles per hour on the shoulder. How should you move back onto the pavement? 
Keep moving at the present speed and stare very gently back onto the pavement. Come to a complete stop, if possible, before staring back onto the pavement. Brake hard to slow the vehicle, then steer sharply onto the pavement. Answer Come to a complete stop, if possible, before staring back onto the pavement. Question 71. If your brakes get wet while driving on a rainy day, what can happen when you apply the brakes? Excessive brake wear. Trailer jackknife. Hydroplaning. Answer. Trailer jackknife. Question 72. Which of these statements is true about speed management? Shady parts of the road allow better traction than open areas. On slippery roads, it takes longer to stop and is harder to turn without skidding. Road surfaces will freeze before bridges. Answer On slippery roads, it takes longer to stop and is harder to turn without skidding. Question 73. Which of these statements about using turn signals is true? You do not need to use your turn signal when changing lanes in traffic on a four-lane highway. When turning, you should signal early. You should use your turn signal to mark your vehicle when it is pulled off on the side of the road. Answer When turning, you should signal early. Question 74. You are checking your wheels and rims for a pre-trip inspection. Which of these statements is true? Cracked wheels or rims can be used if they have been welded. A vehicle can be safely driven with one missing lug nut on a wheel. Rust around lug nuts may mean that they are loose. Answer Rust around lug nuts may mean that they are loose. Question 75 what is the most important hand signal you and your backing helper should agree on? Go. Slowly. Stop. Answer. Stop. Question 76. You must park on the side of a level, straight, four lane. Divided highway. Where should you place the three reflective triangles? One within 10 feet of the front of the vehicle, one about 200 feet from the front, and one about 100 feet to the rear. One within 10 feet of the rear of the vehicle, one about 100 feet to the rear, and one about 200 feet to the rear. One about 10 feet from the rear of the vehicle. One about 100 feet to the rear, and one about 100 feet from the front of the vehicle. Answer One within 10 feet of the rear of the vehicle, one about 100 feet to the rear, and one about 200 feet to the rear. Question 77 While driving you should use your mirrors to check where the rear of your vehicle is while you make turns the condition of the tires and cargo all of these are correct answer all of these are correct question 78 what factors determine your selection of safe speed when going down a long steep downgrade? 
size of vehicle, traffic conditions, curves in the road, condition of the brakes, radio bulletins, and alertness of the driver, total weight of the vehicle, length of the grade, steepness, road conditions, and weather. Answer Total weight of the vehicle, length of the grade, steepness, road conditions, and weather. Question 79. You are driving a heavy vehicle and must exit a highway using an off-ramp that curves downhill. You should Wait until you are in the curve before downshifting. Slow down to the posted speed limit for the off-ramp. Slow down to a safe speed before taking the curve. Answer Slow down to a safe speed before taking the curve. Question 80. Why should you be in the proper gear before starting down a hill? You will not be able to shift into a lower gear once you are going down a hill. Because the clutch is made to be used on even surfaces. Because you need to be in the same gear at the bottom of the hill. Answer You will not be able to shift into a lower gear once you are going down a hill. Question 81. The distance that you should look ahead of your vehicle while driving amounts to a boat at highway speed. 1 mile L. 4 mile 25 feet Answer L. 4 mile Question 82. An en route inspection should include checking Cargo doors and or cargo securement Tire temperature All of these should be checked. Answer All of these should be checked. Question 83. The new back, blood alcohol concentration, for commercial drivers to be considered intoxicated when driving a commercial vehicle is 0 0.06 0 0.04 0 0.02 0 .04. Answer 0 0.04 Question 84. Which of these describes how you should use the brake pedal on a steep downhill grade? Light steady pressure. Release the brake when you are 5 miles per hour below your safe speed, then let your speed come back up to your safe speed and repeat braking again, bring your speed down 5 miles per hour below your safe speed. With stronger pressure as the vehicle goes downhill. Answer. Release the brake when you are 5 miles per hour below your safe speed, then let your speed come back up to your safe speed and repeat braking again, bring your speed down 5 miles per hour below your safe speed. Question 85. How do you correct rear wheel acceleration skid? Counter steer the steering wheel. Stop accelerating. Apply more power to the wheels. Answer Stop accelerating. Question 86. The amount of liquid to load into a tank depends on The legal weight limits. The amount of liquid will expand in transit. All of these are correct. 
Answer. All of these are correct. Question 87. What are the two main things to look for ahead? Road signs and traffic. Traffic and road conditions. Police and way stations. Answer. Traffic and road conditions. Question 88. If you are convicted for driving under the influence while driving a commercial vehicle, and this is your first offense, you will most likely get a fine of $500, at least a one year suspension of your CDL, probation for a period of one year. Answer. At least a one year suspension of your CDL. Question 89 Which of these can cause the vehicle to skid? AI of these can cause a vehicle to skid. Not enough weight on the front axle. Over acceleration. Answer. AI of these can cause a vehicle to skid. Question 90. Cargo that is not loaded or secured properly can cause many problems. Which of these statements is true? Both answers are correct. Other highway users can hit or be hit by loose cargo. Loose cargo can cause injury to the driver or passengers during a quick stop or crash. Answer Both answers are correct. Question 91. Which of these is a good driving rule for work zones? Use your brake lights to warn drivers behind you. Turn on new flashers, hazard lights and drive slowly. Both of these answers are correct. Answer Both of these answers are correct. Question 92. Which of these statements about speed management is true? On a wet road. You should reduce your speed by about one third. Both of these answers are true. On packed snow, you should reduce your speed by about one half. Answer Both of these answers are true. Question 93 an en route inspection should include checking for Both of these are correct. Cargo secured properly. Tire overheating and brake overheating. Answer Both of these are correct. Question 94 which of these is not a good rule to follow when caring for injured at an accident scene? If a qualified person is helping them, stay out of the way unless asked to assist. Move severely injured persons if there is a danger due to fire or passing traffic. Keep injured persons cool. Answer Keep injured persons cool. Question 95. You are starting your vehicle from a stop. As you apply power to the driver wheels, they start to spin. You should Take your foot off the accelerator. Try a lower gear. Press harder on the accelerator. Answer. Take your foot off the accelerator. 
Question 96. Which of these statements is true about drugs? Certain prescription drugs are allowed to reduce fatigue. A driver can use any prescription drug while driving. The use of alcohol or drugs can lead to collision and, or arrest. Answer. The use of alcohol or drugs can lead to collision and, or arrest. Question 97. You are driving a 40-foot vehicle at 50 miles per hour. Driving conditions are ideal. Dry pavement, good visibility. What is the least amount of space that you should keep in front of your vehicle to be safe? 4 seconds. 3 seconds. 5 seconds. Answer. 5 seconds. Question 98. Which of these is not a good rule to follow when caring for injured at an accident scene? Move severely injured persons if there is a danger due to fire or passing traffic. If a qualified person is helping them, stay out of the way unless asked to assist. Keep injured persons cool. Answer. Keep injured persons cool. Question 99. It takes the body about hours to get rid of the alcohol in four drinks. Six. Four. Two. Answer. Four. Question 100. What is the minimum length for mad flaps? Within 10 inches of the surface of the road. Within 6 inches from the surface of the road. Within 8 inches of the surface of the road. Answer. Within 8 inches of the surface of the road. Question 101. The height of the vehicle's center of gravity is very important for safe handling. Stop faster. Get stuck. Roll over. Answer. Roll over. Question 102. What is a hazardous materials placard? Signs put on the outside of a vehicle which identify the hazard class and weight of the vehicle. Signs put on the back of a vehicle which identify the hazard class of the cargo. Signs put on the outside of a vehicle which identify the hazard class of the cargo. Answer. Signs put on the outside of a vehicle which identify the hazard class of the cargo. Question 103. When you drive in the mountains, you will have to use lower gears to drive safely down grades. Which of these does not affect your choice of gears? Tire tread type. Length of the grade. Weight of the load. Answer. Tire tread type. Question 104. Why make emergency plans when you see a hazard? To avoid getting a ticket. In order to protect yourself and others. To have something to do while driving. Answer. In order to protect yourself and others. Question 105. When should you downshift automatic transmissions? 
When going down grades. When going up grades. When going around curves. Answer. When going down grades. Question 106. Which of these is not a proper use of vehicle lights? Flashing your brake lights to warn someone behind you that you are slowing down. Turning on your headlights during the days when visibility is reduced. Flashing your brake lights to stop someone from tailgating. Answer Flashing your brake lights to stop someone from tailgating. Question 107. Which of these is a good thing to remember when crossing or entering traffic with a heavy vehicle? Heavy vehicles need larger gaps in traffic than cars. The best way to cross traffic is to pull the vehicle part way across the road and block one lane while waiting for the other to clear. Because heavy vehicles are easy to see, you can count on other drivers to move out of your way or slow down for you. Answer Heavy vehicles need larger gaps in traffic than cars. Question 108. Every time you park your vehicle and shut the engine off you should Leave it in gear. If it has a manual transmission, apply the parking brake. Turn the steering wheel as far to the left as you can. Answer Apply the parking brake. Question 109 if you cannot see well with your headlights when driving in an area with few streetlights on a clear night, you should Find another route that is better lit. Use your high beams when legal and keep your interior light off. Turn your interior lights on. Answer Use your high beams when legal and keep your interior light off. Question 110. Which of these statements is true about drugs? Certain prescription drugs are allowed to reduce fatigue. The use of alcohol or drugs can lead to collision and, or arrest. A driver can use any prescription drug while driving. Answer. The use of alcohol or drugs can lead to collision and, or arrest. Question 111. For an average commercial vehicle being driven at 55 miles per hour on dry pavement it will take about, to bring the vehicle to stop. Half the length of a football field, 150 feet. The length of a football field, 300 feet. Twice the length of the vehicle. Answer The length of a football field, 300 feet. Question 112. When approaching a traffic light that has been green for a long time, you should Start to slow down so you will be ready to stop. Continue at your current speed. Accelerate so you get through the light. Answer Start to slow down so you will be ready to stop. Question 113 which of the following statements about backing is true? You should back and turn towards the driver's side whenever possible. Backing is always dangerous. Both of the these are true. 
Answer. Both of the these are true. Question 114. If you go twice as fast your stopping distance will increase by. Three times. Two times. Four times. Answer. Four times. Question 115. To avoid rollbacks when you start, you should Engage the clutch very quickly. Stop on a flat area. Partly engage the clutch before you take your right foot off the brake. Answer Partly engage the clutch before you take your right foot off the brake. Question 116. Which of these statements is true about bad weather driving conditions? The road becomes more slippery as rain continues than when the rain began. When the temperature drops, bridges will freeze before roadways. Driving conditions become more dangerous as the temperature rises. Answer when the temperature drops, bridges will freeze before roadways. Question 117. Which of these statements about drinking alcohol is true? Statistics show that drivers who have been drinking have a much greater chance of being in a crash. Alcohol first affects judgment and self-control, which are essential for safe driving. All of these are true. Answer All of these are true. Question 118. How far ahead should you be looking while driving in town? One block. Two blocks. As far ahead as you can see. Answer. One block. Question 119. Why are placards used? So hazardous materials are not mixed with food. It is the law. To communicate the risk. Answer. To communicate the risk. Question 120. The total weight of the powered unit, the trailer, and the cargo is called Gross combination weight Gross vehicle weight Gross axle weight Answer Gross combination weight Question 121. When should you downshift automatic transmissions? When going around curves. When going down grades. When going up grades. Answer. When going down grades. Question 122. If you are driving a long distance, you should Stop often and take short breaks before you feel really drowsy or tired. Avoid short breaks but keep the window open. Take a short break once or twice during the trip when you are feeling tired or drowsy. Answer Stop often and take short breaks before you feel really drowsy or tired. Question 123. There are three types of a vehicle inspections, which of these is one of them? 
post-trip and pre-trip. En route. All of these answers are correct. Answer. All of these answers are correct. Question 124. Which piece of emergency equipment should be in your vehicle? Circuit breakers. Warning devices for parked vehicles. First aid kit. Answer. Warning devices for parked vehicles. Question 125. Which of these statements is true about speed management? Shady parts of the road allow better traction than open areas. On slippery roads, it takes longer to stop and is harder to turn without skidding. Road surfaces will freeze before bridges. Answer On slippery roads, it takes longer to stop and is harder to turn without skidding. Question 126. Tank vehicles are used to carry any liquid and are dangerous to drive because... Both of these answers are true. High center of gravity. Danger of load surge. Answer. Both of these answers are true. Question 127. When checking lights you should... Turn off the engine and take the key with you. Turn on the headlights and four-way flashers. Both of these answers are correct. Answer. Both of these answers are correct. Question 128. You are testing the stopping action of service brakes on a hydraulic system. Which of these can mean there is a problem? The brake pedal goes to the floor. The vehicle pulls to one side when the brake pedal is pressed. All of these are correct. Answer All of these are correct. Question 129. While driving, you should use your mirrors to check. Where the rear of your vehicle is while you make turns. If your running lights are working properly. Your blind spots only. Answer. Where the rear of your vehicle is while you make turns. Question 130. What must you check before transporting a sealed load? That the load is properly secured. That the seal is authentic. That the placard numbers match the seal numbers. Answer. That the load is properly secured. Question 131. How far ahead should you look? 12-15 seconds. 15-30 seconds. 5-10 seconds. Answer. 12-15 seconds. Question 132. What should you do before driving if you are sleepy? Get some sleep before you drive. Drink some coffee. Take some caffeine pills. Answer. Get some sleep before you drive. 
Question 133. You are driving a 40-foot vehicle at 50 miles per hour. Driving conditions are ideal. Dry pavement, good visibility. What is the least amount of space that you should keep in front of your vehicle to be safe? 5 seconds 3 seconds 4 seconds Answer 5 seconds Question 134 which of these statements is true about vehicle fires? If your engine is on fire, open the hood as soon as you can. A burning tire should be cooled with water. If the cargo or box trailer catches on fire, open the doors as soon as you can. Answer A burning tire should be cooled with water. Question 135. You are checking your steering and exhaust systems in your pre-trip inspection. Which of these problems should be fixed before the vehicle is driven? Gray smoke from the exhaust pipe. Steering play more than 10%, 2 inches on a 20-inch wheel. Oil on the tire rod. Answer. Staring play more than 10%, 2 inches on a 20-inch wheel. Question 136. Which of these statements about using turn signals is true? When turning, you should signal early. You should use your turn signal to mark your vehicle when it is pulled off on the side of the road. You do not need to use your turn signal when changing lanes in traffic on a four-lane highway. Answer When turning, you should signal early. Question 137. Which of these things is a good thing to do when steering to avoid a crash? Apply the brakes while turning. Steer with one hand so that you can turn the wheel more quickly. Do not turn any more than needed to clear what is in your way. Answer Do not turn any more than needed to clear what is in your way. Question 138 if you are convicted for driving under the influence while driving a commercial vehicle, and this is your first offense, you will most likely get Probation for a period of one year At least a one-year suspension of your CDL A fine of $500 Answer at least a one-year suspension of your CDL. Question 139. Dry bulk tanks require special care because They have a high center of gravity. Both of these are true. The load can shift. Answer both of these are true. Question 140. Which of these statements about cold weather driving is true? Exhaust system leaks are less dangerous in cold weather. An engine cannot overheat when the weather is very cold. Windshield washer anti-freeze should be used. Answer Windshield washer anti-freeze should be used. Question 141. What should wheel bearing seals be checked for? Leaks Gasoline Color changes 
Answer. Leaks. Question 142. Why should you be in the proper gear before starting down a hill? Because you need to be in the same gear at the bottom of the hill. Because the clutch is made to be used on even surfaces. You will not be able to shift into a lower gear once you are going down a hill. Answer You will not be able to shift into a lower gear once you are going down a hill. Question 143 what are the two main things to look for ahead? Police and way stations. Traffic and road conditions. Road signs and traffic. Answer. Traffic and road conditions. Question 144. What is an escape ramp? A quick way to get out of town. Ramps that are located a few miles from the top of a downgrade to help you stop. Ramps to get on and off an interstate highway fast. Answer Ramps that are located a few miles from the top of a downgrade to help you stop. Question 145. Converter dollies built on or after March 1, 1998 are required to have anti-lock brakes. These dollies will have A yellow malfunction lamp in the center of the dolly. A yellow malfunction lamp on the right side of the dolly. A yellow malfunction lamp on the left side of the dolly. Answer. A yellow malfunction lamp on the left side of the dolly. Question 146. Implied consent means when you sign the driver's license application form, you Understand that you may drink alcohol now before driving. Give your consent to be tested for alcohol in your blood. Give your consent for your vehicle to be inspected for alcohol. Answer Give your consent to be tested for alcohol in your blood. Question 147. Which of these statements is true about medicines used to treat the common cold? It should only be used when driving during the daytime. It can be used while driving as long as you only take half the regular dose. It often makes you sleepy thus should not be used while driving. Answer It often makes you sleepy thus should not be used while driving. Question 148. When you check the condition of visible parts during your pre-trip inspection, make sure that the are secured against snagging, rubbing or wearing. Primary and secondary safety cab locks. Frame and cross members. Airlines and electrical wiring. Answer. Airlines and electrical wiring. Question 149. When checking lights you should Turn off the engine and take the key with you. Both of these answers are correct. Turn on the headlights and four-way flashers. Answer both of these answers are correct. Question 150. 
Which of these statements is not true about engine belts in hot weather? You can check the tightness of belts by pressing on them. Loose belts will not turn the water pump and, or fan on properly. Cracking is likely to occur but it is not a safety threat. Answer Cracking is likely to occur but it is not a safety threat. Question 151. Which of these statements about engine overheating is true? You should never remove the radiator cap on a pressurized system until the system has cooled. If your engine overheats within 20 miles of the end of your trip, you should complete the trip and then check the problem. You should never shut off an overheated engine until it cools. Answer You should never remove the radiator cap on a pressurized system until the system has cooled. Question 152 When should you wear seat belts? Whenever you are hauling hazardous materials. Anytime you are in a moving vehicle. Only in states where law requires it. Answer Anytime you are in a moving vehicle. Question 153 Which of these is important to check before driving in the winter? Staring Exhaust Tires Answer Exhaust Question 154. How do you test the hydraulic brakes for leaks? Drive slowly and pump the brake metal. Make sure it doesn't hit the floor. Drive 20 miles per hour and slam on the brakes. Pump the brake pedal three times, then apply firm pressure to the pedal and hold it for five seconds. The pedal should not move. Answer Pump the brake pedal three times, then apply firm pressure to the pedal and hold it for five seconds. The pedal should not move. Question 155 Axle weight means the following The weight transmitted to the tires from the axle. Both of these are correct. The weight transmitted to the ground by one axle or one set of axles. Answer The weight transmitted to the ground by one axle or one set of axles. Question 156. Turn signals should be used. At least 250 feet before turning or changing lanes. At least 100 feet before turning or changing lanes. At least 350 feet before turning or changing lanes. Answer At least 100 feet before turning or changing lanes. Question 157 Dry bulk tanks and hanging meat. Unstable loads have low centers of gravity. Do not require special care. Answer Unstable loads. Question 158 If you cannot see well with your headlights when driving in an area with few streetlights on a clear night, you should Use your high beams when legal and keep your interior light off. Turn your interior lights on. Find another route that is better lit.
Answer. Use your high beams when legal and keep your interior light off. Question 159. When roads are slippery you should Stop and test the traction while going up hills. Take turns as carefully as possible. Decrease the distance that you look ahead of your vehicle. Answer Take turns as carefully as possible. Question 160. Retarders Cause extra brake wear Can cause the drive wheels to skid when they have poor traction. Allow you to disconnect the steering axle brakes. Answer Can cause the drive wheels to skid when they have poor traction. Question 161. When looking ahead of your vehicle while driving you should look. As far as your peripheral vision can see. To the right side of the road. Back and forth near and far. Answer. Back and forth near and far. Question 162. Cargo covers. May be a safety requirement in some states. Protect people from spilled cargo. Both of the answers. Answer. Both of the answers. Question 163. You are driving a heavy vehicle and must exit a highway using an off-ramp that curves downhill. You should Wait until you are in the curve before downshifting. Slow down to the posted speed limit for the off-ramp. Slow down to a safe speed before taking the curve. Answer Slow down to a safe speed before taking the curve. Question 164. Every time you park your vehicle and shut the engine off you should Leave it in gear, if it has a manual transmission. Apply the parking brake. Turn the steering wheel as far to the left as you can. Answer. Apply the parking brake. Question 165. Which of these is the most important thing to remember about emergency braking? If the wheels are skidding, you cannot control the vehicle. Disconnecting the steering axle brakes will help keep your vehicle in a straight line during emergency braking. Never do it without downshifting first. Answer If the wheels are skidding, you cannot control the vehicle. Question 166 How far can the Board of Education make a student walk to their assigned pick-up location? One half mile 150 yards 250 yards Answer One half mile Question 167 Which of these statements about drinking alcohol is true? Not everyone who drinks is affected by alcohol. A few beers have the same effect on driving as a few shots of whiskey or a few glasses of wine. Coffee and fresh air will help a drinker sober up. 
Answer. A few beers have the same effect on driving as a few shots of whiskey or a few glasses of wine. Question 168. When driving in cold weather conditions, your tire tread should have at least two 30 seconds inch tread on it. Provide enough traction to steer and push the vehicle through snow. Have at least four 30 seconds inch tread on it. Answer. Provide enough traction to steer and push the vehicle through snow. Question 169. Cargo that is not loaded or secured properly can cause many problems. Which of these statements is true? Both answers are correct. Other highway users can hit or be hit by loose cargo. Loose cargo can cause injury to the driver or passengers during a quick stop or crash. Answer Both answers are correct. Question 170 If your brakes get wet while driving on a rainy day, what can happen when you apply the brakes? Hydroplaning Excessive brake wear Trailer jackknife Answer Trailer jackknife Question 171 What three things add up to total stopping distance for your truck or bus? Observation distance, reaction distance, braking distance Perception distance, reaction distance, braking distance. Attention distance, reaction distance, slowing distance. Answer Perception distance, reaction distance, braking distance. Question 172 you must park on the side of a level, straight, two-lane road. Where should you place the reflective triangle? One within 10 feet of the rear of the vehicle, one about 100 feet to the rear, and one about 200 feet to the rear. One about 50 feet to the rear of the vehicle, one about 100 feet to the rear, and one about 100 feet to the front of the vehicle. One within 10 feet of the rear of the vehicle, one about 100 feet to the rear, and one about 100 feet to the front of the vehicle. Answer One within 10 feet of the rear of the vehicle, one about 100 feet to the rear, and one about 100 feet to the front of the vehicle. Question 173. When driving through roadway work zones, you should Reduce speed only if workers are close to the roadway. Watch for sharp pavement drop-offs. Turn on your parking lights. Answer Watch for sharp pavement drop-offs. Question 174. While driving, you should use your mirrors to check where the rear of your vehicle is while you make turns. If your running lights are working properly, your blind spots only. Answer Where the rear of your vehicle is while you make turns. Question 175. The oil pressure gauge should come up to normal within how long after stirring the engine? It does not matter. Seconds. Minutes. 
answer. Seconds. Question 176. When you drive in the mountains, you will have to use lower gears to drive safely down grades. Which of these does not affect your choice of gears? Tire tread type. Weight of the load. Length of the grade. Answer. Tire tread type. Question 177. Which of these is not something you should do if your headlights are not working properly? Adjust the headlights. Clean the headlights. Leave your high beams on. Answer. Leave your high beams on. Question 178. You must park on the side of a level, straight, four-lane, divided highway. Where should you place the three reflective triangles? One within 10 feet of the front of the vehicle, one about 200 feet from the front, and one about 100 feet to the rear. One within 10 feet of the rear of the vehicle, one about 100 feet to the rear, and one about 200 feet to the rear. One about 10 feet from the rear of the vehicle, one about 100 feet to the rear, and one about 100 feet from the front of the vehicle. Answer One within 10 feet of the rear of the vehicle. One about 100 feet to the rear, and one about 200 feet to the rear. Question 179. Select the proper collision procedures that are required for any collision that you are involved in, in which you are not seriously injured. Protect the area and notify the authorities. Care for the injured and collect required information. All of these are required. Answer All of these are required. Question 180. You must park on the side of a level, straight, two-lane road. Where should you place the reflective triangle? One within 10 feet of the rear of the vehicle, one about 100 feet to the rear, and one about 200 feet to the rear. One within 10 feet of the rear of the vehicle, one about 100 feet to the rear, and one about 100 feet to the front of the vehicle. One about 50 feet to the rear of the vehicle, one about 100 feet to the rear, and one about 100 feet to the front of the vehicle. Answer. One within 10 feet of the rear of the vehicle, one about 100 feet to the rear, and one about 100 feet to the front of the vehicle. Question 181. An en route inspection should include checking for Tire overheating and brake overheating Cargo secured properly both of these are correct. Answer Both of these are correct. Question 182. One can recognize hazardous materials by looking at the containers. Shape Label Color Answer. Label. Question 183. To prevent skidding, you should Turn the wheel sharply for all turns. Brake hard at all stops. Adjust to conditions while driving. Answer. 
Adjust to conditions while driving. Question 184. Name some suspension system defects. Broken leaves in leaf spring and cracked or broken spring hanger. Both of the answers are correct. Leaking shock absorbers. Answer. Both of the answers are correct. Question 185. What is the most important hand signal you and your backing helper should agree on? Slowly. Stop. Go. Answer. Stop. Question 186. While driving, I spilled up on your wipers and they no longer clean the windshield. You should... Keep driving, and spray the windshield with washer fluid. Keep driving, and turn your defroster on. Drive slower until you can see again. Stop safely and fix the problem. Answer. Stop safely and fix the problem. Question 187. Which of these statements is true about vehicle fires? If the cargo or box trailer catches on fire, open the doors as soon as you can. A burning tire should be cooled with water. If your engine is on fire, open the hood as soon as you can. Answer. A burning tire should be cooled with water. Question 188. Which of these statements is true about backing heavy vehicles? You should avoid backing whenever you can. It's safer to back toward the right side of the vehicle. Helpers should be out of sight and use only spoken signals to communicate with the driver. Answer You should avoid backing whenever you can. Question 189. The amount of liquid to load into a tank depends on The legal weight limits the amount of liquid will expand in transit. All of these are correct. Answer All of these are correct. Question 190 If you have been drinking alcohol, before you drive, you should Take a cold shower Drink coffee. Wait for it to wear off. Answer. Wait for it to wear off. Question 191. You should check the following for looseness, sticking, damage, or improper settings. Both of these answers are correct. Steering wheel and transmission controls. Accelerator, brakes, and clutch pedals. Answer. Both of these answers are correct. Question 192. You must drive on a slippery road. Which of these is a good thing to do in such a situation? Slow down gradually. Apply the brakes during turns. Use a smaller following distance. Answer. Slow down gradually. Question 193. 
Is it legal to drive with one-fourth of a vehicle's leaf springs broken or missing? It doesn't make any difference as long as you go the speed limit. Yes. Number. Answer. Number. Question 194. You are driving a 40-foot vehicle at 35 miles per hour. The road is dry, and visibility is good. What is the least amount of space you should keep in front of your vehicle to be safe? 4 seconds 2 seconds 6 seconds Answer 4 seconds Question 195, which of the following should you not do in the event of hydraulic brake failure? Use the parking or emergency brake. Pump the brakes. Shift up. Answer. Shift up. Question 196. Which of these is not a proper use of vehicle lights? Flashing your brake lights to stop someone from tailgating. Turning on your headlights during the days when visibility is reduced. Flashing your brake lights to warn someone behind you that you are slowing down. Answer. Flashing your brake lights to stop someone from tailgating. Question 197. Which of these statements is true about warning other drivers of a stopped vehicle? Keep the vehicle's taillights on to warn other drivers. Put out your emergency warning devices within 5 minutes. Move the rear reflective triangle back if the driver's vision is obscured to within 500 feet. Answer Move the rear reflective triangle back if the driver's vision is obscured to within 500 feet. Question 198 According to the driver's manual, why should you limit the use of your horn? The horn is not a good way to let others know you're there. It can startle other drivers. It wears down the battery. Answer. It can startle other drivers. Question 199. Name some suspension system defects. Both of the answers are correct. Leaking shock absorbers. Broken leaves in leaf spring and cracked or broken spring hanger. Answer. Both of the answers are correct. Question 200. How far can the Board of Education make a student walk to their assigned pick-up location? One half mile. 250 yards. 150 yards. Answer. One half mile. Question 201. You are starting your vehicle from a stop. As you apply power to the driver wheels, they start to spin. You should Press harder on the accelerator. Take your foot off the accelerator. Try a lower gear. Answer. Take your foot off the accelerator. Question 202. What should the wheel bearing seals be checked for? 
Cleanliness Color of paint used on cover Hub oil level and no leaks Answer Hub oil level and no leaks Question 203, which of these statements about staying alert to drive is true? There are drugs that can overcome fatigue. Sleep is the only thing that can overcome fatigue. A half hour break for coffee will do more to keep you alert than a half hour nap. Answer Sleep is the only thing that can overcome fatigue. Question 204. Your truck is in a traffic emergency and may collide with another vehicle if you do not take action. Which of these is a good rule to remember at such a time? Leaving the road is more risky than hitting another vehicle. Stopping is always the safest action in a traffic emergency. You can almost always turn to miss an obstacle more quickly than you can stop. Answer You can almost always turn to miss an obstacle more quickly than you can stop. Question 205 what is counter steering? Staring in the opposite direction from what other drivers expect you to. Turning the wheel back in the other direction after steering to avoid a traffic emergency. Turning the wheel in a counterclockwise fashion. Answer Turning the wheel back in the other direction after steering to avoid a traffic emergency. Question 206. Which of these is not required knowledge for drivers needing hazmat endorsement? Which products can be loaded together? When to use placards? Basic chemistry. Answer Basic Chemistry Question 207 You are checking your wheels and rims for a pre-trip inspection. Which of these statements is true? Rust around lug nuts may mean that they are loose. Cracked wheels or rims can be used if they have been welded. A vehicle can be safely driven with one missing lug nut on a wheel. Answer Rust around lug nuts may mean that they are loose. Question 208 For an average commercial vehicle being driven at 55 miles per hour on dry pavement it will take about to bring the vehicle to stop. Half the length of a football field, 150 feet. Twice the length of the vehicle. The length of a football field, 300 feet. Answer The length of a football field, 300 feet. Question 209 when you check the condition of visible parts during your pre-trip inspection, make sure that the are secured against snagging, rubbing or wearing. Frame and cross members. Airlines and electrical wiring. Primary and secondary safety cab locks. Answer. Airlines and electrical wiring. Question 210. If you do not have a CB radio, what is the first thing you should do at an accident scene? Flag down help. Protect the accident scene. Clear the area.
Answer. Protect the accident scene. Question 211. If you have a heavy load that is slowing you down on an upgrade, you should shift into a lower gear. Exit the roadway until traffic is lighter. Drive on the shoulder so that others can pass easily. Answer. Shift into a lower gear. Question 212. Why are placards used? So hazardous materials are not mixed with food. It is the law. To communicate the risk. Answer. To communicate the risk. Question 213. You do not have a hazardous materials endorsement on your commercial driver's license. You can drive a vehicle hauling hazardous materials when The vehicle does not require placards. The cargo will be transported less than 100 miles. A person who has the hazardous materials endorsement rides with you. Answer. The vehicle does not require placards. Question 214. What is your most valuable way to see the sides and rear? Checking your mirrors regularly. By looking out the window. Getting out and inspecting the areas. Answer. Checking your mirrors regularly. Question 215. You can see a marking on a vehicle ahead of you. The marking is a red triangle with an orange center. What does the marking mean? The vehicle is hauling hazardous material. It may be a slow moving vehicle. It is a law enforcement vehicle. Answer. It may be a slow moving vehicle. Question 216. Implied consent means when you sign the driver's license application form, you Understand that you may drink alcohol now before driving. Give your consent for your vehicle to be inspected for alcohol. Give your consent to be tested for alcohol in your blood. Answer. Give your consent to be tested for alcohol in your blood. Question 217. The most important reason for being alert to hazards is so. Accident reports will be accurate. Law enforcement personnel can be called. You will have time to plan your escape if the hazard becomes an emergency. Answer You will have time to plan your escape if the hazard becomes an emergency. Question 218 the tendency for long commercial vehicles to swing wide on turns is called fishtailing, hydroplaning, off-tracking. Answer. Off-tracking. Question 219. Truck escape ramps. Should not be used unless you have first tried all other ways to save your vehicle after brake failure. Cannot be used by certain types of heavy vehicles. Are designed to protect vehicles from damage. Answer 
are designed to protect vehicles from damage. Question 220. Which of these tell you that cargo contains hazardous materials? Both of these answers are correct. A hazardous materials placard on the vehicle. A 4-inch, diamond-shaped hazardous materials label on the container. Answer Both of these answers are correct. Question 221. No matter how small the cargo is, it should have at least two tie downs, six tie downs, one tie down. Answer Two tie downs. Question 222. You are driving a 40-foot vehicle at 35 miles per hour. The road is dry, and visibility is good. What is the least amount of space you should keep in front of your vehicle to be safe? 6 seconds 4 seconds 2 seconds Answer 4 seconds Question 223. The most important reason for being alert to hazards is so. Law enforcement personnel can be called. Accident reports will be accurate. You will have time to plan your escape if the hazard becomes an emergency. Answer. You will have time to plan your escape if the hazard becomes an emergency. Question 224. Dry bulk tanks require special care because... Both of these are true. The load can shift. They have a high center of gravity. Answer. Both of these are true. Question 225. How do you test the hydraulic brakes for leaks? Drive 20 miles per hour and slam on the brakes. Drive slowly and pump the brake pedal. Make sure it doesn't hit the floor. Pump the brake pedal three times. Then apply firm pressure to the pedal and hold it for 5 seconds. The pedal should not move. Answer Pump the brake pedal 3 times. Then apply firm pressure to the pedal and hold it for 5 seconds. The pedal should not move. Question 226 When checking lights you should Turn off the engine and take the key with you. Turn on the headlights and four-way flashers. Both of these answers are correct. Answer Both of these answers are correct. Question 227. Which of these can cause the vehicle to skid? Over acceleration. Both of these answers are correct. Not enough weight on the front axle. Answer Both of these answers are correct. Question 228 Which of these is not a proper use of vehicle lights? Flashing your brake lights to stop someone from tailgating. Flashing your brake lights to warn someone behind you that you are slowing down. Turning on your headlights during the days when visibility is reduced. Answer 
flashing your brake lights to stop someone from tailgating. Question 229. When should the pre-trip inspection report from the last driver be reviewed? It doesn't have to be reviewed. Once per week. During your pre-trip inspection. Answer. During your pre-trip inspection. Question 230. When a doctor prescribes medication for you and you know you will be driving, you should Ask the doctor if the medication will affect your ability to drive. Take the medication, but stop taking it if you notice it is affecting your driving. Take the medication, as well as other medication to keep you alert. Answer. Ask the doctor if the medication will affect your ability to drive. Question 231. Which of these statements about using turn signals is true? You should use your turn signal to mark your vehicle when it is pulled off on the side of the road. You do not need to use your turn signal when changing lanes in traffic on a four-lane highway. When turning, you should signal early. Answer When turning, you should signal early. Question 232 which of these is not a danger when an automatic transmission is forced into a lower gear at a high speed? Loss of engine braking effect. Loss of steering control. Damage to the transmission. Answer. Loss of steering control. Question 233. The amount of liquid to load into a tank depends on The amount of liquid will expand in transit The legal weight limits All of these are correct Answer All of these are correct Question 234. Medical certificates must be renewed every Four years Two years Nine months Answer Two years Question 235. What is an escape ramp? Ramps that are located a few miles from the top of a downgrade to help you stop. Ramps to get on and off an interstate highway fast. A quick way to get out of town. Answer Ramps that are located a few miles from the top of a downgrade to help you stop. Question 236. If the vehicle in front of you is smaller than yours, it can probably Take turns faster than you Outrun you Stop faster than you Answer Stop faster than you Question 237. Dry bulk tanks require special care because They have a high center of gravity. Both of these are true. The load can shift. Answer Both of these are true. Question 238. Can federal inspectors inspect your truck or bus? 
Yes, but they cannot place it out of service. Yes, and they can place it out of service. Number Answer Yes, and they can place it out of service. Question 239 which of the following should you not do in the event of hydraulic brake failure? Shift up. Pump the brakes. Use the parking or emergency brake. Answer. Shift up. Question 240. If you have been drinking alcohol, before you drive, you should Drink coffee Wait for it to wear off Take a cold shower Answer Wait for it to wear off Question 241 Which of these is especially true about your tires in hot weather? A small amount of air should be let out to keep air pressure steady. If a tire is too hot to touch, you should hose it down with water. You should check tire mounting and air pressure before driving. Answer You should check tire mounting and air pressure before driving. Question 242. If you have a heavy load that is slowing you down on an upgrade, you should Exit the roadway until traffic is lighter. Drive on the shoulder so that others can pass easily. Shift into a lower gear. Answer. Shift into a lower gear. Question 243. Cargo that is not loaded or secured properly can cause many problems. Which of these statements is true? Loose cargo can cause injury to the driver or passengers during a quick stop or crash. Both answers are correct. Other highway users can hit or be hit by loose cargo. Answer Both answers are correct. Question 244. What does communicating mean in safe driving? Using hand signals. Letting other drivers know you're there to help prevent crashes. Driving brightly colored vehicles. Answer Letting other drivers know you're there to help prevent crashes. Question 245 Which of these statements about managing space is true? Many accidents are caused by drivers keeping too much space in front of their vehicles. When the road is slippery, you should keep much more space in front of your vehicle. Smaller vehicles require more space to stop than larger ones. Answer When the road is slippery, you should keep much more space in front of your vehicle. Question 246 how does bleeding tar affect the road surface and driving conditions? It does not affect the road surface or driving conditions. Tar in the road pavement rises to the road surface in very hot weather causing the roads to become very slippery. It is very sticky slowing down your vehicle. Answer Tar in the road pavement rises to the road surface in very hot weather causing the roads to become very slippery. 
Question 247. The height of the vehicle's center of gravity is very important for safe handling. Stop faster. Get stuck. Roll over. Answer. Roll over. Question 248. Containerized loads. Do not need to be inspected or secured by the driver. Are generally used for freight carried part way by rail or ship. Should come with their own tie-down devices. Answer. Are generally used for freight carried part way by rail or ship. Thank you for watching the video and wish you will get your driver license soon.